Today, I'll be reviewing the book Empress Rising by Dale Ford. Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're taking a look at the novel Empress Rising by Dale Ford. I got an advanced copy of this book in order to review since the author is my cousin. The satellite, due to everything going on with YouTube and having to put in a lot more time on the channel than before, it took me a lot longer to read it. With that being said, let me give you guys the synopsis of the book. In the aftermath of a nuclear war, nearly every nation which was involved has broken apart. Russia is now even smaller than it was post-USSR, and many of America's states have split from the Union, one of those states being Georgia has become a maternal monarchy with dual leaders, the Queen Mother and her daughter, the Dark Empress. Placed in their position by the General of Georgia's military, the two were originally meant to be figureheads in name only. The General was supposed to be the true ruler of the nation. However, events transpire which forced the Queen Mother and her husband, the Red Knight, to take control. Experimental technology is used to turn the Red Knight and a few of their closest, most loyal allies into cybernetic super soldiers. Soon, the small nation finds itself in a cold war which turns full-on war with a Siberian warlord. This book has everything fans of fiction could want. The science fiction aspects are based on real scientific breakthroughs and theories. Part of that scientific basis is giving dogs the ability to speak, humans the cure for life-threatening diseases, and children the ability to become super soldiers. On the other side of the world, you have Siberia, which has also been screwing around with genetic mutation and creating their own humanoid soldiers in a test tube. While I had a few nitpicks with character description at first, I quickly became engulfed in the book. I truly feel Empress Rising is good enough to become the next Game of Thrones or Walking Dead. Dale Ford is a first time author, but don't let that deter you guys because it's a great read. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, he's only saying that because he's related to the guy. But honestly, that couldn't be further from the truth. There have been many times that I see a book that looks good, but I start to read it and get a few chapters in, but then I put it down and never pick it up again, because it bores me or doesn't really hold my attention that well. This book, however, I found myself reading several chapters a day. The total page count is 370 pages, with 41 chapters plus a prologue and an epilogue. I found myself laughing hysterically at several parts of the book, because the characters are incredibly realistic, mainly because they're based on real people in the author's life. The book ends on somewhat of a cliffhanger, and Dale has told me that Empress Rising is a planned trilogy and that there probably won't be any more following that storyline after the third book. But he is possibly open to more if he feels a desire to write them. As I read the book, I remember thinking to myself, and even told Dale that it would make a great comic book series or graphic novel, that he should contact Dynamite Entertainment, Image Comics, or IDW and see about making it happen. Honestly, I feel it's a great read, and if you're into science fiction, fantasy, military novels, etc., pick up a copy and read it. I promise you won't be disappointed. It's available on Amazon and Amazon Prime. However, it's listed as temporarily out of stock, but once you place your order, it'll immediately be printed and shipped. I'll leave a link for you in the description below. I hope you guys check it out and show your support for the first time author. I truly look forward to seeing what happens to the characters after that cliffhanger of an ending. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care, my friends.